Alrighty, so we've got a ton of parts to slap on the Yerf dog. We've got to do a bunch of finishing stuff so we can take it to powder coat. He put a Yerf dog plastic seat in it and that thing is rough. So we bought this on eBay for $120. It's the best seat because if you're a chunky daddy like me, these are just padding where the seat I put in my buggy has PVC plastic in there and it kind of eats at your leg. So I will be switching this same seat in my buggy as well. We've got a seat, some new 50 cal racing harnesses. These are super nice. they got memory foam and they're just a quick release uh, racing harness. We've got to do an e-brake. We're going to do front front hydraulic disc brakes and we got the whole kit from go power sports which we already have this rear caliper on it but we're going to be using the master cylinder taking off that single master cylinder and then the front brakes and we have a product hopefully coming out soon where you can use go power sports disc and their brake kit and we sell everything to weld onto your car to give you front disc brakes uh, this is a prototype kit so we're going to see how good it works and then you can find that on our website here in a couple weeks we've got a mount of ammo can an oil catch can the little light bar and we're doing a oil pressure gauge, a voltage gauge, and attack on this buggy. And then it's like strip it completely down, flip it over, make sure everything's welded. And we're gonna do a skid plate and a couple little things on this uh, swing arm. So a lot of work to do to get it to powder coat. So we're gonna start tearing into it, getting junk done, baby. So to help us get in easier, we're gonna be taking this steering wheel off. Well, we're using this steering wheel, but we're gonna use Go Power Sports Quick Release. This, uh, I don't know if they're selling these anymore, but links either way will be down below. If uh, Go Power Sports aren't selling them, I'll find a, a Amazon a link or something, but these uh, fit a three quarter inch shaft. So basically we can unbolt the steering wheel off, measure how much we need to cut off this shaft. We can slide this on, weld this all the way around. Then we'll have a quick release, which is dope. Yep. That's how much we'll have to cut off. So I think actually we'll just set it right against the bearing. Should be perfect. You know what I mean? So leave three quarters or a little bit more than three quarters of an inch on the shaft because remember we can unbolt the shaft and slide it out. Mm -hmm. Get rid of all these and bam. So we made this yoke right here unboltable so we can pull this whole steering apart for stuff like powder coat. So now Daniel's gonna unbolt this uh, U joint. It's got two half inch bolts in it. Well, two five sixteenths bolts. Half inch. Nuts. Might have to zip that out. And I'm sure this isn't going to be super easy to pull out. Ejecto seat. <laughs> Ejecto seat, <-o> <laughs> Now we're going to cut this flange off and uh, then we can slide everything back in and remeasure. So we cut that. Daniel welded this on to the shaft to put a washer in there just to, just to add us a little bit of spacing. We only got one bolt in it, but we got the steering wheel off and I'm going to climb in her. This seat is super comfortable though. It's so much nicer before when I was uh, getting in. The steering wheel was right in the way. We forgot to line up the steering wheel before welding on, but we can just move the splines down there. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect! Awesome.
Well, guys, I do believe that is the last video that uh, will be on the channel using this old garage. As you can see, everything is cleaned out. Now we have to go through it, paint everything, get everything uh, nice and tidy. I never did a ceiling in here because of the sound dampening that the insulation gave me was actually super nice. So now we can go in and do some beadboard or something up there, repaint, clean everything. I haven't taken my Manco banner down yet, and there's still some other stuff like my old Ford signs where I worked at a Ford dealership for a while and some odds and ends. But uh, it's crazy to think I spent five years building this career in this shop. You know, it all started in that little garage right there. And uh, such a massive, massive blessing this career's been. Uh, it's been the hardest career I've ever had, you know, uh, mentally, physically, just um, having to do crazy hours to get videos out, but it's worth every second of it. God's blessed us with this career, and we can't wait to see where the next five years takes us. So thank you so much for supporting us and watching our videos. Uh, this will be uh, one more video of Randy's cart, and then it's gone for good. It'll finally go out to Randy. Took us weeks and weeks to find someone to sandblast it, and then I end up just paying Daniel to sand it at his house, and we took it and got it powder coated finally. So we're ready to assemble it, get everything done, and let Randy start enjoying the thing. We're hoping the new shop will let us do projects faster, get them done a lot quicker. We have three full bays now. We have a ton of space and a ton of uh, area outside to test them. That was a problem here. I never wanted to ride anything because we have 0.8 acres here. So 
uh, again, thank you guys so much for supporting us and watching these videos. Uh, we're a little behind right now on videos, so stay tuned. We've got a lot of stuff coming in the next couple weeks. Uh, we've got some new builds coming. The buggy's going to be done. we got a lot of awesome stuff, so thank you so much. Thank you, Go Power Sports, for sponsoring us so long ago. They was pretty much there from the start. They took a chance on us when we was really small, and we've grown an awesome relationship with them. And uh, we really love Go Power Sports, the way they treat their customers and the products that they provide uh, for our hobby. So thank you guys so much for watching. A uh, little crazy, little, little emotional being in this old garage. Now we just got to uh, move on to the next chapter of our lives and be able to use our house as a house for a while until we sell it and start building the new house at the new shop. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and, and sharing these videos. We hope you continue to do so because we want to continue to do this career and keep on entertaining you guys. So thank you so much and God bless each and every one of you.